Hey, this is Soldier7 here reporting for Right Wing Federation, and as you see, Biden returned to the White House. Yeah, and also at the same time, a lot of suspicious activity that went on during the election it has still not been explained. Because whether if you think there was fraud or not, you cannot sit there and tell me that there was nothing about this election, this past election, that was pretty fucking suspicious. You cannot say that there wasn't. And I could list some stuff, like for example, like the footage of the people bringing in the suitcases of ballots and so forth. Yeah, that seemed pretty fucking suspicious to me. But then again, that is still to be explained. Which may never be. Who knows? Anyway, unfortunately, I um, would have rather have done a uh, four more years of Trump, done a video about that, as I did on January 20th of last year about his third year in office, because technically it was his third year, because 2017 to 2020 is three years, so yeah, I would have done more of a video on that, and unfortunately I'm not. Now, granted, I stand by what I said about Trump, as I've said in videos before, and yes, while I may not have agreed with everything Trump is all about or stood for, some of his policies, like the bunk stock ban and so forth, which I have explained. Still, already, I would have taken, I, I will say, I, I would have much rather taken four more years of Donald Trump than one day of Biden. Because, not that everybody knows that, everybody knows that for sure, long, long before. But the thing is, is like, Biden returned to the White House, it's been just a little over a week and already it's not looking good and it's just only been just a little over a week and it's not looking good already I mean granted I didn't expect it I didn't ex I'm not expecting a whole lot of good to come out of it in the first place but already the things that have been signed and certain things that have happened within just the last 10 days, yeah. Out of his administration, I'm not expecting a whole lot of good to come out of it. And if, and if by some chance there is, I'm expecting, well, like, you know, like the thing of harm and good, yeah, for every good, I'm expecting like five to 10 harms to come with it. Because we're talking about a guy who seems to want to get a more, more cozy with the communists in Beijing, who doesn't want to leave the UN, and uh, last I, from what I understand, agreed to a 100-day suspension of deportations. Mm -hmm. And a guy who said he's literally coming for our guns. And, uh, well, let's see. If I were to continue, I feel like this would take an entire hour, but I don't want to take that long. But, uh, yeah. I said I was going to do a video about this. I left a quick video, my previous video. It was on the day he returned to the White House. And, uh, yeah. I really don't want to go on an hour or 45 minute rant, but, uh, I'm just going to make a quick video like I said I was going to do, or just the video in general. And to say, yeah, I'm probably gonna, I may, probably gonna make more down the line, but uh, yeah, just for now. All I'm just gonna say is, yeah, this presidency, if you can call it that, which I don't know if I can, um, yeah, I'm not expecting a whole lot of good to come out of it. But, um, yeah, until then, I will just leave it at that for the time being, okay? This is Soldier 7. Thanks for listening.